uh, hello traders uh, hello traders uh, today is the uh, today is the 29 of november 29 of november uh, 2010 and the time in london right now is 33 minutes past eight uh, in the evening okay and the eastern time uh, 15 uh, 33 so good afternoon to all uh, our American uh, TSTW24 traders and uh, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Okay, we wish you the best in your trading. Okay, I have here the two hours chart of the Euro USD. Okay, as you remember last Friday, I was doing a series of videos regarding the how to analyze the volume indicator. And I will tell you that uh, when a price break a support level with an increase in the volume, we will analyze the bearish momentum. If the bearish momentum is not strong, we will disqualify that increase in volume and consider it as a bullish okay and the same thing if you haven't watched the video regarding uh, how to analyze the volume indicator you may go and watch it so you can understand what i'm talking about here and i will show you this level here okay this level here and i will tell you that this support level was broken just when uh, new, uh, new was was new york was closed okay the market was closed on friday right here i'll put the spotlight there for you so you see exactly what i'm talking about last friday we were exactly here and i will tell you that the volume was increasing right here before the market uh, just as the market was closing here and I know I was showing you that uh, this uh, uh, support level was broken but uh, with uh, increase in the volume but the price found another resistance right there okay so I was telling you that this volume in fact is a bullish volume that's true is correct because what has happened as the market opened on Sunday the markets gap up okay right there it gap up I will show you that you will see the gap nearly on I think best on 50 minute chart I will go back to 50 minute chart when the market opened on Sunday you see the gap here okay from here to here okay can you see the gap okay or I'll go back to five minutes and then you'll see the gap uh, that I'm talking about uh, when the market opens uh, at um, uh, Sunday night okay uh, where am I now? I don't know where I am anymore. Uh, let me find it. <laughs> My point, you see the gap here? This is the gap here. Okay. When the market open exactly uh, there, the mark, uh, the euro gap up. Okay. You see? Boom. Up. Okay. It went up. It went up. But because of the economy news regarding the Ireland situation, people were still busy selling the euro. Okay. So you have to be aware of that also that uh, due to all the... Uh, uh, the deficit uh, okay in Ireland in Portugal what they call the pigs Italy and all the rest of it and uh, Greece uh, the people were so busy to sell the euro USD and uh, this uh, nice uh, bullish gap up was completely stopped right there when they stop it they push it back and here they probably try to test the same level here okay so they just validate this zone as a resistance level okay you see here that's what I'm talking about if you haven't watched our video about uh, the validation of support and resistance level it's very very important that you understand what is going on here the price gap up went up here okay uh, display this uh, higher high here okay and then the uh, pullback try to display a new uh, which means uh, we have uh, a higher low here compared to this low here the price try to break this resistance here but fail what has happened is that this level has become a confirm a validate a valid resistance level and they're exactly there you wait for this support level to be broken and it just went down big time big time big time this is just simple abc okay trading okay that's it is down the whole day there's no question about it after all the mess that has happened here you know that this uh, uh, bullish momentum is kaput after this level here is taken out completely okay and then uh, today what has happened today uh, they push it big time though they push it big time because uh, we were expecting the euro to find a support in this zone here uh at uh, one three three one three two zero zero okay so what i did uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, i was uh, observing the price okay i was uh, uh, observing the price because uh, i don't want to sell the euro at the moment okay to be honest i don't want to sell the euro so i was watching all this i didn't sell it down i didn't sell it at all because i'm i'm looking for opportunity to sell uh to to buy sorry i'm looking for opportunity to buy the euro i don't want to to sell the euro right now okay so this is the one three two zero zero the support level that the euro should find so they touch it here okay as you can see the fire found the support okay in the morning just before 
London Open. You can see that the price for the support that I want it to again, okay, as it did on Friday, you see. This is today. He touched it again, 132, exactly the 132, again, and it just zoomed up, okay? He went up, went up, went up, okay? And as London opened, what has happened? If you look carefully here, he touched it exactly the place where the prior was rejected before, okay? So if you look carefully, I'll go back again. So those who trade uh, before London open, I don't trade before London open, okay? So those who trade before London open will buy it because he touched it again in 132, uh, levels which is uh, the support level that the price was respecting uh, since Friday okay I'll show you on Friday what the price did exactly there okay I hope we can see it nicely here uh, exactly there you see the price touched the 132 132 you see touch it here 132 132 okay today again uh, before London was open the price came back again after they sold it uh, Sunday night in the Asia session after this nice combination of ABC here you see the came the price came back again and retest the 132 132 again here and you know straight away that uh, it's going to go up again okay so I watch all this uh, some of the action here and uh, as I'm waiting for London to open, what has, has, was, ha what has happened is that the price tested exactly uh, the same level that the price was rejected. I'll show you on the two hour chart quickly what's happened. Okay, this is the two hour chart here. Uh, if you look carefully here, where am, where am I now? Where am I now? Where am I now? Now, what has happened is that you can see clearly here, you see this level here. Oh, you know, maybe I'll go back to the 60 minute chart, you will see better. Or I'll go to the 30 minute chart, you'll see better. This is uh, the, the Sunday night session here where the prior was rejected. Or I think uh, if I go back to 15 minute chart, uh, where I was before, I'll show you this clearly so you can see it. Okay, rejection, rejection. You see the prior was rejected here. Okay. Um, now, So, I mean, I'll go back to five minutes. Uh, I'll show you clearly. You can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, you see the level here, what I'm showing you before. This level here, the price, when the price gap up, okay, you retest this level here, pull back and, and retest this level. Exactly there, when London open, that's where the price. I'll draw another line here so you can see what I'm talking about here uh, because I don't want this video to be too long. That's why I'm a bit, uh, I'm talking a bit too fast now. Uh, forgive me, okay. Uh, now, call out this. Uh, I call this uh, red, okay. Remember, yeah, so this is the level the price display double top here, okay. The same level when London opens, okay. When London opens, exactly there, you see, you see the red line, exactly there. The price came and retest the same level, giving us a kind of a triple top on this uh, five minute chart. Now, like I said to you, a triple top, okay, is just uh, a, a, a nice uh, bearish signature, okay. You touch it here, touch it here. Okay, and then it, it come back and retest this uh, 13200 zero, zero level, and then uh, when London open, it touch it here. You have to be very suspicious because uh, you have to wait for the price to cross above this uh, level here before considering buying it. Okay, and uh, it couldn't cross it. It couldn't cross it. And uh, if you look carefully, also uh, the trend line is broken. Okay, it's broken, and the price displays a lower. If the trend is broken, the price displays a lower high here. Okay, what what do you look for? You just sell straight away. You don't ask any more question. Okay, you just sell it straight away and, uh, and sit on it. Okay, so price the trend is broken and the price display a lower, a lower, a lower high. Okay, right there. Okay, and then you just sell it down. Okay, that's what has, what has happened today. And uh, but uh, this is just. Um, I sold it here and I came out uh, at uh, 132 because uh, I, I don't really want to sell the euro today, okay, to be honest with you. But this was an easy one, so just come out here. And the people were selling, selling. It was amazing, though. It, once you cross the 132 level, we know that the euro is kaput, okay? We're, because this is the best support for the euro. So the price has to find another support level, okay? He break this one, 132. It was clear. The price tried to pretest. it couldn't, okay? But uh, I knew this is because of the, the news or the blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm talking to you about. This is the only way they can manipulate the market is through the news. Normally, people should be buying the euro, but uh, because of all this new blah, 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 Irish uh, uh, deficit, uh, Greece deficit, all the blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's why they sell it below this uh, level. Normally, they shouldn't cross this level unless they want to push it down further down so they can buy it very cheap the, uh, <laughs> the smart market. But we can't we can we can't tell exactly <laughs> what these people are about to do, but uh, 
we can definitely follow them with the TST uh, W2436 uh, trading system. Uh, like I said to you before, we do not try to predict the price, but we try to follow uh, the price, the number one indicator. And so the price break our major support level, the 13200, which put in question mark onto this euro, uh, whether it's going to come back and rise now. Uh, but if you go to the two hour chart quickly, okay, uh, you will see uh, that um, the volume is telling us to look for opportunities to buy right now, okay? You see, it looks bullish right now, watching this uh, volume indicator here. If I show you again, analyzing this volume again, okay? You see increase in volume again here, okay? I'll put the spotlight there for you so you can see uh, again, okay? Increase in volume on the Euro USD, okay? And this uh, support level, as you can see, is broken with uh, increase in the bullish, in the bearish momentum, okay? Support level is broken with increase in the bearish momentum. You see right there? You see the size of the candle? You see the range of this uh, two hours candle? The first one you see, and the second one crossing this support level is bearish. It's telling you that there is excellent bearish momentum. You will sell after this candle here. You see people sold it down and sold it down. That's how you use the volume. Increase in volume, uh, support level is broken, Increase in bearish momentum, you will sell. Okay, so I repeat: increase in volume, support level is broken. Increase in, in bearish momentum, you will sell. Three things. I will repeat again: increase in volume, support level is broken. Increase in bearish momentum, you will sell. Okay. Same thing when we are breaking a resistance level. So we have increase in volume. Okay, uh, resistance is broken. Increase in bullish momentum. I will repeat again: increase in volume. Okay, resistance level is broken increase in bullish momentum we will look for opportunity to buy okay this is about how we analyze volume in order to cream the market consistently because from next year we will be doing more video regarding the stocks okay the stock of nasdaq okay the 100 stock of nasdaq okay and the 30 stock of uh, dow jones and uh, on other stock in other country also this year we were busy creaming the the the, 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 the forest market next year we will be looking at uh, uh, all the stock uh, and uh, cream them also uh, whichever direction they are going so right now the euro look bullish why it looks bullish because the bearish momentum is uh, finished now as you can see it went down big time or uh, for eight hours that's two candle two hours each candle that's eight hours so far it went down and also if you consider the range the daily range of the euro the daily range of euro is around 180 okay so the euro went more than 180 today the chances that the bear in this case the professional always respect the daily range of the, the, the any currency so for the euro the daily range is usually uh, 180 so the, we went we went we went above the 180 today which means extended section today people are likely to take their profit before they see their profit run away so this is what's going on now so we are expecting the euro to pull back up at least to retest this uh, yellow line here at 13200 because th this 13200 uh, this is the key level so do not just be fooled by this movement to the downside keep watching it i'm still bullish towards the euro now we have to wait till it cross the 13200 and if we find a support above the 13200 the party is back on as a bullish okay but if you remain below the 13200 they will put a question mark on that bullish uh, uh, intention that we have uh, regarding the euro usd i hope uh, you enjoyed this video also uh, that you put into practice in order to cream the market consistently until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy thank you